Hey, we all love hitting the high flop shot, but at times we're also sculling this shot over the green or we're hitting that dreaded shot close to the hosel. You know what I'm talking about, the dreaded shank. Today I'm gonna show you how to hit a flop shot and also what might be causing that skull or that shank. I get a lot of requests for this shot. Todd, I wanna hit the high flop shot. We see it on TV, it's super cool. We wanna be able to pull it off. And you know what? It's not that difficult when you understand a couple of concepts. So let's dive right into those. The first thing, and it probably goes without saying, but we gotta cover it, and that is club selection. You wanna grab the club that, you, that has the most loft in your bag. So for me, that's my 58 degree. Don't try to hit a high flop shot with a pitching wedge or a nine iron or something like that. It's just not gonna work. And I, I know you probably know that, but I gotta cover it because it is an important part of the concept here. So, 58 degrees. Now, in order to get the ball to go high and to go soft, we gotta have two things. We've got to have some loft, so we're going to talk about how we add loft, and we've got to have some speed. When we have a lot of loft and we have a lot of speed, the ball goes up in the air. So let's talk about those two concepts and how we create them. So the first thing is ball position. I like to see the ball, when I'm hitting a high flop shot, for the ball to be in the center of the heels to ever so slightly forward. So let me show you the difference. On a stock chip shot, I'm just hitting a little pitch across the green here. I'm gonna have the ball basically in the center to maybe slightly back. But on a flop shot, I'm gonna move it forward a little bit so it's more in the middle of my heels, okay? And I'm gonna also aim a little bit to the left, all right? So I'm set up a little bit more kind of in this position right here. Uh-oh, I almost made the first one. All right, I like that, that's a good start. Also, notice how the club, do you see that? See how it went through the turf? Then grab a divot. We're gonna talk about that in a second. All right, so first concept is ball position a little bit forward. The next concept we gotta have is we gotta add some loft, right? Because we need loft and we need speed. All right, so how do we get more loft on the club face? If you're shanking the shot periodically, here's probably what you're doing. You're taking the club face and you're rotating it way open. Now, when you rotate the club face way open, you do get more loft, that's true but you also start exposing the heel. So I'm in here, and as I rotate that face open, what part starts to move more forward? The heel does, right? All right, so I'm not a big fan for the average golfer, the amateur golfer, the experienced golfer, rotate. I don't like that move. It's not that you can't hit the shot that way, because you can, but you're really limiting your face location to hit the ball, and also you're exposing the heel. So what could you do as an alternative? Well, you could simply take the butt end of the club and move it back a little bit. This adds loft just as much as rotating the face does. So I'm gonna set up with that ball position we've talked about. I'm gonna move the hands back a little bit. And now I'm see where my hands are almost a little bit behind the ball. My weight is a little forward. That's pretty standard. If you watched any of our videos on chipping, we got a ton of great videos on chipping. We got videos over three million on chipping, it's my favorite thing to teach, so if you haven't already, join our family here at US Golf TV. All right, also tell us where you're from. I love hearing where people are from, and ring the bell, so you know when we have our latest video that comes out. So, ball forward, okay, wait a little left, shaft back, here we go. Simple and easy when I understand a couple concepts there. Now, let's talk about the actual motion. Okay, because this is where the skull comes in. Right, we talked a little bit about the shank. Now let's talk about the skull, what happens? So, butt into the club. Everybody with me on this? Okay, butt into the club. When you finish this shot, I want the butt end of the club to be pointed right here at my belt buckle. See that? All right, and I'm, we're gonna talk about this, belt, this butt end of the club in a, in a second. I'm gonna give you, uh, at the end here, a golden tip. It's a little bit more for my high level players, but I, you might, I think you can handle it. So here we go, when you finish, right here at the belt buckle. What a lot of you do when you skull it is it points back here. Okay, see how it's pointing back towards my right hip? What this does is it throws the leading edge, it throws the leading edge too aggressively at the ball and you skull it over the green. Okay, let me, I'll just demonstrate it. So I'm set in here, all right, and I kind of throw that at it and that ball just rolls across the green. So what you want to do, you already know this, you got the ball position, here we go, shaft back, and when I finish, that one even came out softer than I wanted 
right here at the belt buckle. All right, so hopefully you're with me. Got any questions, throw those in the comments. Or maybe you disagree with me. That's okay too. I mean, that's okay. Because that's actually where we get some of our good ideas. But I love hearing from you and I do my best to answer all the questions you put in there. So I promised you a golden nugget here at the end. And this is, I gotta tell you, is a little bit more of a higher skilled move. But you know what, try it out because it will open up this shot for you. So, butt end of the club, point at the belt buckle. But here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing. When you finish, have the butt end of the club a little bit closer to you. See that? Further away, closer to me, all right? That's like next level. Let me hit a shot. I, I, I gotta try this out. Ball a little forward to center, handle back, weight left. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Get in the hole. Mm. See how that, right there, point my belt buckle and a little bit closer? That too will add a little bit of loft at the bottom. So if you're shanking these shots, if you're sculling them, if you can't hit them, I just hit right there four shots, no divot. Did you see that? No divot because I'm using the bounce, I'm using the loft, I've got some speed, the ball's going up in the air. These tips right here are gonna help you hit the high flop shot.